Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Wednesday, September 15th, 2021, and I am Sierra Wells. We are back with another broadcast where we will keep you up to date on activities in Stephenville and the surrounding areas, as well as inform you on news from around the globe. Today, I will be talking about National Heritage Month, LJT, a Oklahoma death penalty prisoner, and more, all coming up next on Texan TV. In campus news, this month is National Hispanic Heritage Month. On Wednesday, September 15th, the ballet performance of Alegria by the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley Ballet Folklore Rico will show at Carleton in the Clyde H. Wells Fine Arts Center Auditorium from 6 to 8 p.m. There is no cost to attend this event and Agua Frescas will be offered to the audience at intermission. September 15th also marks the launch of a phone line for Charlton students who speak Spanish. On Thursday, September 16th, Charlton Activities Board will be hosting a Hispanic Heritage Bingo Night in the TFC Ballrooms. Doors will open at 6.30 p.m. and events will begin at 7 p.m. There will be cash prizes available for winners. In local news, the Larry Joe Taylor Music Festival is back in Stephenville for its 32nd annual festival and chili cook-off. This festival, which started on Monday the 13th, will end this Saturday the 18th, is being hosted at the Melody Mountain Ranch. The chili cook-off will begin this Saturday at noon and will be free for anyone to enter who has purchased an LJT Fest ticket. Trophies will be awarded to the top 10 chili re recipes, and there will also be an award for the top three showmen of the competition. And now, today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. Houston is preparing for Tropical Storm Nicholas, which has been gathering strength off the Gulf Coast since Monday. Forecasters at the National Hurricane Center in Miami are predicting up to 20 inches of rain for the Gulf Coast area, as well as winds up to 60 miles per hour. 74 mile per hour winds are required for the storm to be considered a category one hurricane. However, the area is under a tropical storm warning and is at risk for flash flooding. In a conference in Houston, Governor Greg Abbott said, listen to local weather alerts and heed local advisors about the right and safe things to do. And you'll make it through the storm just like you've had many other storms. In national news, Oklahoma's Pardon and Parole Board urges the governor, Kevin Stitt, to reduce the sentencing of Julius Jones to life in prison instead of the death penalty. Jones' case started in 1999 when he was accused of shooting and killing a businessman named Paul Howell. Jones claims he was framed and the real killer planted the evidence found in his home. The case has gained national attention after a documentary was produced about it in 2018. Since then, many professional athletes and the reality star Kim Kardashian West have reached out to Governor Stitt about, the commu about commuting Jones' sentence to life in prison. In international news, the situation in Afghanistan could lead to widespread starvation. Money and food shortages are becoming common after Afghanistan froze all foreign exchange and crippled the state budget. The United Nations gathered millions of dollars to help the Afghans who may face starvation in the coming months to help. The poverty level is rising in the country and many humanitarians are worried about the people. The U.S. ambassadors to the United States nations, Linda Thomas Greenfield said that the U.S. would support the UN's efforts and the U.S. will in $64 million make a total of $330 million put towards Afghanistan this fiscal year. And for sports, we turn to our very own Cody Vinoy as he breaks down the first tailgate of the year. Hey Texans, Cody Vinoy here with Texan News Service. We're here at the first tailgate of the 2021 fall football season. We have some students here that can't be more excited. It's hot, it's sunny, but even though we haven't had a tailgate since 2019, these fans can't be more excited. What does it mean for you to have the tailgates back this year? Uh, tailgate, tailgating for us is one of the biggest like networking opportunities for us. Not only, I mean, we already have our recruits starting right now. so. I can't network for recruits, but I can network and build uh, relationships with other organizations, other fraternities, uh, the cheer team, the stars, everybody around us, even the alumni groups that are around us. Um, we have AGR here with us. They're one of our closest allies. We had a great time out here. A lot of community coming out here to have a great time. We're just we're enjoying ourselves and partying, having a great time. And it, this is what Tarleton's about. It's having the friends and family come out here, have a good time, and cheer on our team. What does it mean to you that we're able to have the tailgate season this year? 
It means everything. Uh, I was a senior last year with the baseball team, and as an alumni, I get to come back and party with the young guns and, and uh, really hang out and get that feel again and feel like I'm young still. It's been, it's been good being able to see everyone, being able to not have to wear masks and everything, but the whole COVID situation with the poo, I, so what, when that happened in March, so the last two months I got to dress out and get to dress out and I had a, a review on social media, so it wasn't, it wasn't ideal, but we still got to, but seeing all my poo brothers and sisters get to reveal the right way has been, has, has been awesome and I'm happy for them. What does it mean to Tarleton Radio to be able to have a football season and a tailgate this year? Honestly, it's so much better than it was last year because th last year was my first year, so I didn't get to do tailgate. I got to do one, and I, we did not have this turnout. So it's great to be back and get to experience it for my last year before I graduate. It means so much to us to be able to be out here with all the students, parents, anybody that can come out. Everybody's just having a good time, and it means a lot to us to have rich connections with people, just to talk with them, hang out with them, give them some free food, <laughs> tell them about Boast College Ministry, we meet on Tuesday nights, we have a good time, fellowship, Bible study, and we just love being around the people, and I can tell that they like it too. All right, President Hurley, what does it mean for you and for the student body to be able to have tailgates this year? Well, it's exciting to see all the students and the alumni and the supporters of the institution back on campus and just having a good time. And seeing smiles and laughter, right? That means a lot. That's a Tarleton spirit, and that's who we are, and we're, we're happy. Cody Vinoy, Texan News Service. Now for weather, we turn to Sierra Dyson. Good afternoon, Texans. Today is a beautiful day with a slight breeze. The high is 89, and there's a low of 68. Fall is officially in the air. Now back to the desk. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by the Texan TV staff. Be sure to let us know your thoughts and opinions about today's stories in the comments below. Have a wonderful day, Texans.